Good evening, people. Good evening, Good evening everybody. Good evening, teacher. How are you today? Hi, teacher. Fine. Hello. You? Very good, very good. Ready for a new week? Yes. <laughs> new week. Very fast. Mm -hmm. Very fast. Fast the time. Yes. Frida, I think Frida is still at work. Yes, teacher. Hello, I, I am in the work. I okay. Frida is very responsible. Pero ya me voy. Ya me voy. Ya voy a llegar. Okay. Los, los protect oh, oh, <laughs> Pro Okay, well, let's get it started tonight. So, um, when I call your name, I want you to tell me what was the best part of your weekend? Okay. What was the best part of your weekend? Yes, so think about that and tell us. Tell us what was the best part of my weekend. Uh, for instance, in my case, one nice part of my weekend is that this weekend I went out because the two weeks I was isolated. You know what I mean with isolated? Good evening, teacher, everybody. Hello. During two weeks, I was isolated. So I couldn't go out of my home because I was suspicious of COVID. So I didn't go out. So I, I spent two weeks in my house. So this weekend I went out for the first time in two weeks. I went to have breakfast with my wife and I went for an ice cream 
also and <clears throat> that is in the saturday morning because on saturday afternoon i work so maybe that was the best part of my weekend okay so what about you what was the best part of your weekend let's start with anna lillian reyes what was the best part of your weekend anna lillian uh, Uh, past I weekend and uh, Saturday, uh, aside from my boss, Gladys Gonzalez, the diploma, the module one, two. Ah, I think the, yes. of this course. Yes. Let me clean, let me clean my camera. It's a little bit. Yes. Oh, very good. Nice. That's good. Uh, Brian Javier Carmona. Where are you, Brian? He was here. Oh no, there, there you are. Aha, uh -huh, Brian. What was the best part of your weekend? As uh, my weekend, the best uh, part. Um, visit the uh, Caluco with my family. Oh, Whoa. very good. Do you eat Gaina India? Yes. <laughs> yes. Ah, yes. that's the best in Caluco, Gaina India. Excellent. Dinora Alejandra Alfaro. Present teacher. Hi. Hi the Dinora. best part of my weekend was on Sunday and I was with my niece all day and we went to a birthday party. Ah. And that's all. Oh, you had cake and piñata. Yeah. And candy. And candies. <laughs> <laughs> okay, very good. Frida Janine Mejia, what was the best part of your weekend, Frida? Hello, teacher. The, Me best, part, <laughs> the best part of my weekend. You can hear me? Yes. Yeah, the best part of, of my weekend is that I was was no mon uh, was it Monday? I went out the Sunday with my mother. Mm. And we go to eat Peruvian food with my mom and my family on Sunday. Ah, okay. Okay, very good. And what is a traditional food from Peru? Uh, uh, Besides ceviche. Ceviche. My my daughter eat eh, una no sé cómo se llama esa sopa que es de marisco parecida a la mariscada. And my 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 husband eat eh, ceviche and my mother eat eh, eh, fish soup. I think. Mm. Okay. That's good. Okay, thank you, Frida. Okay. <clears throat> Gabriela Irene is not here. Guillermo Antonio is not here anymore. Oh, I don't know what happened. Javier Aldair Escobar. Hi, teacher. Hello, Javier. Turn on your camera, please. Teacher, uh, I can turn my camera because I'm driving. You're driving. Okay. I drive. Ah, oh, okay. <laughs> and what was the best part of your weekend, Javier? Can you speak? Maybe, uh, um, maybe later. Uh, uh huh. 
Um, I don't know, teacher. I and my Sunday, I go in the shopping and I sleeping. Oh, that's boring. Yeah, teacher, I boring. <laughs> <laughs> okay, no problem. Jose Arnoldo Mazariego. What was Present the best teacher. of your weekend, Arnoldo? The best part uh, was yesterday. Um, after a month, I can see and visit my mother, and okay. my daughters, and me. We are so very happy. We talk and see and take a lunch with with him, with her. Oh, and your wife wasn't happy that you visited your mother? Yes, but <laughs> it's so more. Uh, 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 yes, <laughs> they, <laughs> they are friends. Ah, okay. Yeah, I, I'm teasing you. But is my wife uh, a little sick yesterday? And... Oh. Por, por eso no dije que ella estaba feliz, porque realmente sí, no andaba tan contenta, pero por eso, porque se sentía un poco de gusto. Ok, ok. You know what I mean when I say I'm teasing you. I'm teasing. Teasing, teasing es estoy molestando. Ah, ok, uh, no, no. Pero explico la razón. O sea, sí estaba feliz, pero <laughs> no del modo que, que ella dice querido estar. Ah, ok, ok. Thank you, Arnoldo. Jose Galileo Present. Barrera. Present teacher. What was the best of your weekend? Uh, more weekend was best uh, to be with my family. Uh -huh, uh, but, the, but the top, the top. The top. Okay. Uh, I went to the beach with with my wife and my two babies, um, son and daughter. Ah, okay. And eat seafood, uh, a, lot of, a lot of seafood. <laughs> ah. I like and And come back home early at noon and take a little rest at night. Okay. That is the top of, of best part of, the, of my weekend. Your weekend. Excellent. Very good. Thank you. Thank you. Jose Jonathan Vigil. Hello. Hello, Jonathan. What was the best of your weekend? The best part of my weekend was on Saturday when I visit my family. I can was um, and share it with my mom. Okay. Okay. Very good. Jose Rodrigo Hernandez. Good evening, teacher. Hello. What was the best of your weekend, Rodrigo? And uh, Sunday. And um, <laughs> family. Uh, the Brave Fat uh, Pupusas Parque Balboa. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, luego, pues, uh, Limbing uh, Puerto Diablo. Okay, very good. Yes, yes. But they are, they are remodeling that place, yes or no? Uh, no, 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 no. No. Oh, no. I thought they were remotely. Okay, thank you. Catherine Marcela Castaneda. Hello, good evening. Hello, Catherine. What was the best of your weekend? Well, on Sunday, I went, I went to the cafeteria with my friends, with my friends. And on Sunday, I went to the beach with my family. Ah, excellent. What beach did you go to? In Metalillo, and it was the best 
a time that I drive to Santa Ana to Metalio. You drive from Santa Ana to yeah. Metalio? Yeah. Oh, okay. Very good. Very good. Thank you. Laura Carolina Vigil. Present teacher. Hello, Laura. Hello, teacher. What was the best of your weekend, Laura? Uh, my weekend on Saturday, I went shopping at the supermarket. Then I returned home and watched TV. And Sunday, I went out to lunch with my mother and my brother. Okay, very okay. good. And what did you eat for lunch on Sunday? And Sunday, my mother uh, invited me <laughs> oh. <laughs> at lunch in uh, Mirador de San Vicente. Wow. Uh, restaurant que se llama. Oh, <laughs> Mirador okay. de San Vicente. <laughs> Yes. Pinchos. Sí. <laughs> okay, very good, very good. Mary Concepción Cerón. Good evening. Good evening, Mary. What was the best of your weekend? Um, on Saturday after work, um, I went, um, I went to the movies and cine. Oh, what movie did you see? Um, se llama uh, Black Widow. Black Widow. Yes. Is, is it good? Uh, so, so. <laughs> Ah, okay. And Sunday, uh, sorry, sorry, teacher. Um, Sunday, um, uh, spend it at my house. Ah, okay, okay, very good. Um, uh, Maria Ivania Palma. Maria Ivania, are you here? No. Mauricio Antonio Rivera. Hey, Mauricio, welcome back. Gracias, teacher. Aquí de nuevo. Yes, it's good to <laughs> see you in on the screen, on the camera. Uh, me ha costado, pero ahí estamos. <laughs> No, gracias, teacher. Pero aquí estamos. En okay. pie de guerra. And what was the best of your weekend? Uh, we went to visit my dad. We had roast beef, but oh. what? But but that was Sunday after. Time on Saturday and Sunday in the night. So Salvador versus Mexico. Hey, that was a good game. Nice game. I work. I work it. It was a bit tighter. Okay. Okay. Very good. Thank you. And uh, Mayra Veralice. Mayra Veralice Moreno. Uh, what happened? Yo creo que en el, en el camera pasó, le dijo. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, but I, Myra is not here yet. Sí, eh, sí estaba, teacher, pero ya no la veo, se salió. No en el camera todavía, creo, teacher. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Zaira, Zaira Marleni, Clarín. Present, teacher. What was the best of your weekend, Syrah? 
my best part of the weekend was that I working from 6 a.m. at 4 p.m. Oh, yeah, you work on weekends, you're right. Yeah. Okay, but it's good to have a job. Okay, Wendy, Maribel, Zabaleta, what was the Hello, best present of weekend? Teacher. Oh, my best part uh, was uh, teach, teach Dominican uh, Sunday. School. Sunday Mom, school. Sunday school, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Sunday school. Uh, oh, child. Yeah. Child, five and six years. Oh, very pretty. <laughs> oh, very good. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah. Now, Jacqueline Gloribel Rivas. Jacqueline. Oh, not here. Hello. Good evening. Oh, oh there you are. Good evening. Good evening. What was the best of your weekend, Jacqueline? The best part of the weekend was resting on Sunday. Uh -huh. And sleeping in the afternoon. I was very tired. Oh, really? Okay, okay. That's good, but a little bit boring. <laughs> Okay, now, nah, but it's necessary sometimes to sleep along. Uh, a lot, I mean. Elia Sahel, not here. Karen Vanessa, Morataja. Hi, teacher. Hello, Karen. Good to see you again. <laughs> yes. What was the best of your weekend, Karen? Boy, the best part of my weekend is... I was raised a lot and I sleep. <laughs> a lot, okay. Yes. I know I don't know how you can sleep with this heat. I, it's too hot. Oh, do you do you have air conditioner at home? Uh, no. No? Okay. <laughs> I cannot sleep in the during the No. I'm I would medicine oh uh, uh -huh. for your accident yes oh it was a car accident mm, no i in english okay nos interesa el chambre dilo en español sigo medio drogada acabo de tomarme la medicina otra vez no, es que hace como cinco años yo tuve un accidente en el que me caí y pues estuve hospitalizada casi que por dos semanas porque tuve una lesión en la espalda, entonces mis vértebras se desviaron. La cosa es que quedé con una lesión en la espalda y el viernes, por andar cuidando a que mi abuelita no se cayera por la lluvia, me caí yo. Oh. Ajá, entonces yo andaba mal de la espalda. Ah, y así, okay. me dura el dolor unos días. Ah, ok, ok. The, the pain is very... Very strong in the in the in the espalda. I know that. Yeah. <laughs> I know that it's very painful. It's yes. horrible, it's a dolor. Yes, okay, okay. It's good to see you now. Thank Mauricio you. Antonio Orellana, what was the best part of your weekend? Uh, <clears throat> the best part of weekend, yeah. Sunday I visit my mother, and so I sleep. I rest all all, all, all day. All day. Uh, and what to do? Uh, oh come on! You went to visit my mother to sleep. Your mother. Yes. <laughs> yes. You, you, oh come on! Yes. <laughs> okay. Yeah, mother's home is peaceful. Yes. Okay, Rocio Lourdes, Pimentel. Rocio Lourdes. Not here yet. And Jocelyn Joanna Garcia, who never showed up. 
Okay, very good. Well, it's gonna be helpful today's class because today, um, besides of the topic, we are going to be studying simple past tenses or sentences. And I heard when I asked you about your last weekend, many of you didn't use the past tense. Okay, because you said I eat, I go, I sleep, and we are talking about past events, but we are going to study that later, okay? And it's going to be good to know that. Excellent. So let me share the screen. Um, to start with tonight's topic. Here. And close this. Facebook must be closed already. YouTube also. And let's go to the book. Mm -hmm. Let me go. Today we're going to start unit three. And um, other one this one okay let me read the objective for tonight's class uh, it says you will be able to process and understand customers opinions about a product or service they received well, one more time, we'll be talking a little bit about customers' opinions, okay? And about the product or service they receive. Customers' opinion is very important for businesses. Mm -hmm. um, let's see, let's start with this activity it says listen to the teacher read the words and repeat well these are some uh, activities or some mm, actions that customers and companies representatives do we have a short list here let's see this short list of activities that customers or um, cost companies representatives do. Let me read them for you. Listen to the pronunciation, okay? Number one, it says pick up the phone. Number two, understand. Number three, explain. Number four, complain. Number five, help. Number six, request information. Number seven, get prices. Number eight, provide one's information. Number nine, assist. Number 10, buy. 11, call, and 12, receive. Okay, please now repeat after me. Turn on your microphones and repeat after me, please. Ready? Ready. Pick up the phone. Pick up the phone. Pick up the phone. Understand. Understand. Explain. 
Explain. Explain. Complain. 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 Help. 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 Request information. Request information. Request information. Get prices. Get prices. Get prices. Provide wants information. Provide wants information. Provide wants information. Assist. Buy. 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 Call. 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 Receive. Receive. <coughs> Sorry, mi garganta todavía no se recupera del todo. <coughs> ah, ok. Estuvo mucho ayer en el partido, Batich. Ah, sí, hombre, esas tapadas del arquero de la Alianza. Van a disculpar los de Santana, ¿verdad? <risa> que por un penalito quedaron campeones, pero bueno. Ah, todo iba bien. Todo iba bien. <risa> El portero de la selecta, si te en ese momento. Mike Gar ah. Gargantinas Candy. <risa> Teacher. ¿Mm? Other, other conversation. <risa> by, by Gargantinas Candy. For Ay. your. My throat. Yes. Esto se llama throat. Throat. For your throat. Gargantina. By gargantina. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Throat. I'm gonna look for it. Um, okay. So. <coughs> hey, no se acopió a un hombre que va a Voy a vender gargantina. Ay, no, gargantina. <laughs> Teacher, uh -huh. you say repeat after me. <laughs> ah, sí, sí, hasta la tos. Okay, the idea is to classify all these activities in customer actions and company's representative actions. Okay, you have to classify these 12 activities in this chart. For example, pick up the phone. Who does that action? The customer or the company's representative? The customer. The customer? The pick customer? Up the pick up the phone? Company's representative. Yeah, the customer calls you and you pick up oh. the phone. Okay. <coughs> Out of context uh, again. For me. <laughs> pick up, yeah, but you have to pick it up. So, and of course, the customer has to pick it up before calling. But okay, <clears throat> pick up the phone. So, continue with the other twelve or eleven actions, please. Classify them in customer and company's representative. Um, I will send you to do it in, in groups just to work, um, to share opinions, okay? Let me create, okay. Join your groups and work on that activity. I'll give you five minutes to do it. See you in a moment.
Así es. Company representative. Company Teacher. Yep. Understand is for companies representative of customer. What do you think? I don't know. Uh, I, es que cuando, no sé, ¿verdad? Ay, cuando no entiendo algo, eh, depende. O sea, si yo soy cliente y no entiendo qué es lo que me están vendiendo, es como, no entiendo, ¿verdad? O a veces con la solicitud del cliente no le entendés, es como, tampoco, no, no sé. No en qué Ajá. Yo digo que es del, del cliente que nunca entiende nada. ¿eh? <risa> no. El que tiene que entender siempre es el company representative. Yes, that's right. Uh -huh. oh, my okay. case. Uh, no, así. And the company representative is the one that must understand the problems of the customer. The issues. The complaints. The complaints, mm -hmm. yes. Okay. okay. You're not a customer service, Javier. Mm, no, customer <laughs> service. Um, I programmer, I pro, no, I the developer, um, I, pero hay unos, unos issues que sacan o algunas cosas que a veces el cliente no entiende y es como, yeah. um, o a veces lo que piden es como que tampoco ellos entienden y es como, por yeah. eso es que. But you have to understand your customers, I'll say. That is. Yeah. <laughs> Me neither. I'm not the, no, the company. Not representative okay i see that's why yeah okay bueno. okay um, assist oh ese es el okay. como es que se llama el company boy es cliente company sí. con no, boy es company o sea <coughs> cuesta como chequear el precio más o menos algo así yeah. get prices ah, chequear el precio de, obtener, de obtener el precio del producto sí. get price sí. get price ok así, así que no el, sé yo se lo pondría al al, al, al customer, customer. customer. Yeah, sí. y provide one's information sería en, en representatives uh -huh. companies Sí, provide one's information Ahí la tendríamos que poner. Provide ones information. information. Ok. Assist. Vaya, ahí está el teacher, díganle. Teacher. Yes. Ana Lilian quiere decirle. <ríe> Qué terrible. <ríe> teacher, es que yo les estaba diciendo a ellos que para mí, eh, de que es information van los dos, porque ambos requieren información, tanto el que va a vender un producto como el que lo va a comprar. Mm, but it says provide one's information. La seis, teacher, la seis. Request sí. information. Oh, request information. Mm -hmm. um, ¿En dónde va? Nosotros lo pusimos en customer. In customer. The customer requests information. It provide one's case. One. Prove what is one? Provide alguna information. Provide, provide one's. What is one? 
1. Ya. Y cuando tiene esa comita S, ¿qué de significa? ¿Ah? De la información o del. No, ¿de quién? ¿Tenés ah, la idea? ¿Una información de proveedor? No, ¿dónde está la comita S? En la apóstrofe S. Vaya, ¿qué quiere decir aquí companies? Compañía, varias compañías. No. No. Companies representative. ¿Qué significa eso? La representante de la compañía. ¿Cómo? Dígalo, dígalo. Repítalo. El representante de la compañía. Representante de la compañía. Era fuerte. Eso significa ah, bueno. este. ¿Ya? Esta apóstrofe S de la compañía. Entonces, sí, ¿qué significa aquí once? Una de la información. No. Prove, proveedor de la información. ¿O de una información? De una, no. De la información de uno. Provide one's information. De uno, de una persona, de yo, de mí. Sí. <ríe> Pero ya me alegré, teacher. Estaba en lo correcto. Estaba yendo con dudas. Provide one's Information, One. dar la información de uno. ¿Quién hace eso? Ah, pero era la otra, ah, era la seis. Uh -huh. Si la seis Aquí iba en costo. Es que para, vaya, la seis, según entiendo yo, es, requiere información. Solicita. Pero, ajá, pero eso le estaba diciendo yo a ellos, que para que, por ejemplo, si voy yo a... Uh, a comprar algo debo darle la información al vendedor que es ah, lo que yo quiero pero ah, también yo puedo pedirle la información del producto que quiero al vendedor para saber el precio no es lo mismo dure, pues todo. pero por eso estoy en duda si van los dos o en uno no y que lo mismo está diciendo quién pide la información no, sí. le está diciendo que la pide el cliente al vendedor y el vendedor ah, ¿eh? al cliente para vender su producto. Por eso pienso que ven ambas. ¿Qué información? Ok, llego yo y solicito información. Request information. ¿Qué información? Le pide el, el company uh -huh. representative. ¿Y qué producto quiero? Necesito? No, eso se llama assist. Entonces sí iría en... en <ríe> Customer. Customer porque yeah. el cliente... Sí. Ajá. Es como Asistir. cuando va uno a pedir una cotización de algo. Yes. Ah, ya me quedo claro, como el café. <ríe> ok, see you. See you. See you. We have a, a, a question. A receive, we don't know who is, 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 is customer or company's representative. Receive. Receive. The company, receive. What does the company's representative receive? Receive the uh, the client, receive product, receive. Uh, no, but in this situation between the customer 
and the company representative. The company representative. material? No, but uh, we are talking about this relationship between the customer case, and the representative. In this case, is received the cost. A customer receive product. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Receive. 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 It's okay, it's okay. Um, request information, provide information. Okay. Yeah. 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 That's right. That's right. Who's watching Canteen Flash? Yeah. <laughs> okay. See you. See you. Viste que se dio cuenta que el pitch. ¿Qué pasó, teacher? No, estaba verificando esto de provide information y request information. Eh, proporcionar información de uno. Eso sería en customer. Sí. Y request information. Igual. Customer. Igual de, de customer. ¿Verdad que lo dejé con la duda? <risa> sí, es que yo diría, es que por la forma en que está planteado acá, uno la da y el otro la pide. Bye. Dar y pedir. Tiene razón. Uno la da y el otro la pide. ¿Quién la da? El customer. ¿Quién la pide? El customer. La pide. La compañía. Yes. Entonces sería la seis. Request information sería companies. Company representative. Está. Está bueno. Ok. Welcome back. Now let's check your work and let's do it together. Let me share this.
Okay, let's go one by one and I'm going to write the the actions here. So number one is pick up the phone. Who does that? Can I say companies? So? Companies representative. Okay, pick up the phone. Okay, number two. Understand. Who does that? Companies. Company. The representative. Everybody agrees? Yes. Understand. Okay. Number three. Explain. Customer. The customer explain? No, company. No, company's representative. Company representative. Mm -hmm. Yeah, maybe, oh. maybe maybe it's relative because uh the customer explain about his problem and mm -hmm. the customer survey or company's representative explain to about the solution. Yes, but when the customer explain the problem, that has a different name here. It's number four. Complain. Customer. Yeah. Complain. What is complain? Quejarse. Quejarse. Reclama. Ah, reclamar. Quejarse. Customer. El customer. customer. Ahí está el cliente explicando su problema. Ok. Number five. Help. Company Ay, Dios. Trágame. Feliz tarde. I am tired. I'm tired. I'm very tired today. I know, I know. It's Monday and everybody is... Is sick. Sick, yes. <laughs> or hangover. Yes. Yes. <laughs> you know what is hangover? No. Who knows what is hangover? The gomix. The, the goma. <laughs> the goma, los, los call center agents on Monday. Crapula. <laughs> no, teacher. In this case, today, uh -huh. I see all day a, a special de COVID and... and Flu? And flu. Nah. Yes, we uh, a nivel nacional is a very uh, is many very high many many uh, cases of COVID. Yes. Yeah, that's right. It's terrible. Okay, complaint number five. Help get it. Request information. Who requests information? Customer. Customer, no, companies, representative, request information, company. Company representative. Yes. Okay. Who get prices? Customer. 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 I hate when people sale on Facebook and they don't write the price. I hate it. Inbox. Ah, I don't like that. Okay. Number eight. Provide one's information. Customer. The customer. 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 Mm -hmm. Provide one's information. Uh, what is next? Nine, assist. Companies representative. Company. Company representative. Assist. Ten, buy. Customer. 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 Call. Customer. Customer. Receive. Customer. 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 
Okay, then you can check your work and this is the way it should be. Okay. Yeah. So the customer complains, get prices, provide one provides uh, one's information, buy, call, receive. The company's representative pick up the phone, understand, explain, help, request information, and assist. Okay. Any question? No. No. Very good. Um, Okay, it's time for the second attendance. Take it and then we'll continue with the simple pass. <laughs> Quickly, please, Ana Lilian Reyes. Present. Brian Javier Carmona. Brian. I cannot hear you. Present teacher. Okay. Thank you. Dinora Alejandra Alfaro. Present teacher. Thank you. Frida Janine Mejia. Present teacher. Thank you. Gabriela Irene Menjivar. Guillermo Antonio Garcia. Present. Hey, Guillermo. Welcome back. Thank you. Wow. Pensé que ya te nos había corrido, Guillermo. Qué bueno que no. No, tuve problemas con, con Claro que resolví el fin de semana. Ah, vaya, excelente, excelente. Javier Aldair Escobar. Present teacher. Good. Eh, José Arnoldo Mazariego. Present teacher. Good. José Galileo Barrera. Present. Thank you. José Jonathan Vigil. Present. Good. Jose Rodrigo Hernandez. Present. Good. Catherine Marcela Castaneda. Present teacher. Okay. Laura Carolina Vigil. Present teacher. Okay. Maria Concepcion Cerón. Present. Okay. Maria Ivania Palma. Maria Ivania. No. Mauricio Antonio Rivera. Present teacher. I'm present. here. Mayra Veralice Moreno. Present teacher. Apareció. Ay, solo fue hace un día. No, pero hoy tarde, tarde. <laughs> Zaira Marlene Larín. Present teacher. Ok. Uh, Wendy Maribel Zabaleta. Present teacher. Good. Jacqueline Gloribel Rivas. Jacqueline se nos cayó. Elías Ael. Karen Vanessa Moratalla. Present teacher. Eh, Mauricio Antonio Orellana. Present. Rocío Lourdes Pimentel. Sí. Show up and Jocelyn Johanna. Okay. Mm -mm. Let's see. Let me show here. Uh, a couple of questions. What do customers call for? Para qué llaman los customers? What can you tell? Give to me to complain. To complain. Buy. To buy. Get information about buy. the tracking. Get information. Get price. Get prices. Uh -huh. Okay. So me el caso el gato. Okay. ¿Qué hace el gato? ¿Qué está haciendo el gatito? What are, you, what are you talking about? Come on. ¿Qué está haciendo el gato? 
Ya, ya iba a morir porque mi chucho te iba a comer. Oye, Ay. vení. Oye. Pobrecito. Oye. Oh, my God. Ok. Uh, do you receive calls from customers? No. Receives calls from customers. No. No, in the case, no. No, no, no. No. Good for you. That Yo is... soy el peor en nada. Si no hay nadie para contestar, a mí me toca contestar. Hi. <laughs> Wendy. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So much, so much, so much. All day. All day. Okay. Yeah. That's Sometimes. That. Sometimes. Sometimes, yeah. Well, that is the worst part of this job, but okay, but it's good. Okay. In my case, only, only, only internal customer. Internal customers. Ah, okay, that's good. That's good. Okay. Talking about customer service. In this unit, we are talking about customer service. Well. We'll talk about that a little bit more later. Uh, I need to share the screen because now we are going to get into the simple pass. Simple pass. How to use the past of B and simple past affirmative. Past of B. Okay, look at these examples. It was a great experience. The agent was very helpful. You were on our page. We were excited about service. So this is be in past. So was and where are the past form of B? Um, just remember that we use, where can I write this? Okay, let me write it here. We have was for he, she, it, well, actually, let's start with I. We use was for I, he, she, and it. And we are going to use where with you we they okay don't forget that most are was con i he she it he were con you we and they ya vamos a ver algunos ejercicios o bueno veámoslos ahorita mejor se lo voy a mostrar a bueno, acá lo que teníamos, pero no vamos a ver ahora todas las formas. Only. Ok, this exercise. Oh, come on. I'm, I'm going to give you these sentences and all you have to do is change from present tense to past tense. Okay, for example, I am late. What is the past? I was late. Are they hungry? Were they hungry? Okay, and so on, so on. Um, let me share this in WhatsApp. Ok, permítame, voy a compartir la imagen en WhatsApp para que... Oh. Ok. 
para que trabajemos en eso. Teacher. Hola. I did hear about a passive verb to be. Somebody said we can use where for all subjects. I, you, he, she, they. That, is that true? No. No. Okay. I was, he was. Actually, okay. now, let me see. No. Okay, thank you. Sometimes in very informal speaking, I have heard American people say we was. Yeah. Pero no es gramaticalmente correcto. Okay. No. Okay. Así es que no todos los americanos hablan bien el inglés. <laughs> Ok, eh, ya les puse ahí el ejercicio en el WhatsApp, lo podemos mandar en grupos para que lo trabajen. Chururú. Vamos a ver los mismos grupos.
Sentence belong to simple. Ya. Yeah. Sí, ya. Yeah. Ok, puso otro ejemplo. Yo creo que no lo conocía. I was late. I was late. Are they hungry? Were they hungry? Is, okay, is eso no entendí. Hola, eso no entendí si podía hacer oración o también podía hacer pregunta, ambas. Sí, no sé que usted hacer pregunta, solo pasar a, a pasado. Ah, sí. Perdón, es que no le había visto el. Sí. sí pregunta. Sí. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Ajá, solo si está en. Si es pregunta, solo uh -huh. nada más ha pasado. Cambiarle si es was o where. Uh -huh. Sí, sí, sí. Thomas isn't at the school. Thomas wasn't at the school. Sería la tercera. Ajá. The wasn't. Yeah. Hungry. Y la última sería that was fun. That was fun. Yeah. That was. Juan. Ok. Entonces. Teacher. Yes. The structure for the negative form. Eh, for example, in the number three, Thomas wasn't at the school. Yes, that's correct. Ok. Entonces, number four, why was she late? Número 5, Mari. Número 5. ¿Ya? Ahorita. 5 y 6. 5 y 6. My brother was a doctor. They weren't here. 7 uh, and 8, Guillermo. 7 and 8, 7. Eva was a teacher. Um, ¿Cuál me dijiste? ¿Siete y? Ocho. Oh. Uh, was Mr. Smith a uh, taxi driver? Mm, ok. Perfecto. 9 and 10, we were your books. Where do you student? What? You live in 12. Yes. What was that? Uh, so it wasn't tired. Yes. 13, 14, Guillermo. Oh, that, that fair was blue. That, My holiday. That thing was blue. Sorry, no, entiendo mi carabatos. My holiday was nice. 14. Why were you happy? 16. Why 16. were you happy? Maria? The pen was blue. Was I the new winner? Was the answer correct? Who was sick? The last two, Guillermo. Oh, espérate que me he quedado. We were hungry. 
That was fine. That was fine. Teacher, we are finished. Okay, very good. Good job. See Thanks. you later then. Okay. Later. I'm perfect. Ver. I'm sorry, I was mute. Okay. Um, do you have any question with any mm. anyone in particular? Uh, uh, for in el caso de que hay una de war, eh, se puede contraer como war not. Eh, eh, weren't. 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 Yes. Okay. You puedo decir, what was is that? What was is? No. That. What was that? What was that? Yes. Ah, el is. Ah, sí. Yeah. Pero cuando pongo ese Yes, me tengo duda con. Ahí está. Ay. Eh, con la que dice, ¿is the answer correct? ¿Sería, is the answer was correct? ¿O no. the answer was correct? No. Entonces, ¿cómo sería? You only have to change B, the verb B. From present to past. What is the verb be in that question? Is. 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 Was the answer correct? Yes. Okay. 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 Perfect. See you. See you, thank you. Hi. Ivania, where have you been? <laughs> Good evening. Good evening. <laughs> okay, welcome back. Let's see. Okay, let's check your work. Number one, I am late. I was late. Number two, were they hungry? Number three, please, Lillian. Number three. Thomas, Tomás, 
was not a school. Okay, very good. Number four, Brian. Brian. Dinora, number four. Number four, why was she late? Good, number five, Frida. My brother was a doctor. Excellent, number six, Guillermo. Uh, six. Yeah. They, they weren't here. Excellent, number seven, Javier. Seven. Ya le digo. Uh, Eva was a teacher. Good. Number eight, Arnoldo. Was Mr. Smith a taxi driver? Excellent. Number nine, Galileo. Uh, where were your books? Good. Number 10, Jonathan. Where's your student? Excellent. 11, Rodrigo. Rodrigo. Catherine. What was that? Excellent. Number 12, Mary. Sue so was a tyrant. Sue, so, okay, good. Number 13. Uh, ¿Dónde vamos? Laura. Uh, my, hol my holiday was night. Yes. 14. Um, Mauricio Rivera. Mauricio, Mayra, number 14. Why were you happy? Excellent. Zaira, 15. The pen was blue. Perfect. Uh, Wendy, 16. Was I the winner? Excellent. Uh, Jacqueline, 17. Jacqueline. Not responding. Karen, 17. Was the answer correct? Good. Mauricio Orellana, 18. Who was sick? Perfect. A ver, volunteer, 19. Me, teacher. Uh -huh. Okay. We well. were hungry. Yes, perfect. Number 20, volunteer. Me, teacher, that okay. was funny. That was funny. Okay. Funny. Was okay, perfect. Any question, people? No? Okay. No questions? Okay, so let's practice with these questions. I want you to talk. We are going to talk using these questions, okay? Let me read them before. Para que sepamos y veamos que estén claras, okay? Veamos esta pregunta. When was the first time you fell in love with someone or something? Bueno, eso de something está raro, pero bueno, puede ser. But when was the first time you fell in love with someone? 
my first time, I, the first time I fell in love with someone, I was in first grade and I fell in love with my teacher in first grade. <laughs> I remember, I still remember. It's typical. I still remember my teacher, you know. Miss Paz Clavel. <laughs> okay, that's me. The other question, when was the first time you studied English? Did you like it? Well, the first time I studied English was in seventh grade at school. And I liked it. I liked it a lot. Okay. Next. When was the first time you bought something expensive? Something expensive. When was the first time I bought something expensive? Uh, maybe the first time I bought something expensive probably was my first cell phone. My first cell phone. Ooh, like 1994 or 90, no. 1990, I don't remember, 1998, 1998, I bought my first cell phone. Do you still have it? No, I don't have it anymore. Okay, the next question is, when was the first time you met your best friend? Oh, was it instant friendship? Um, the first time I met my best friend was in 1988. I visited a school and I saw her. I saw her and was instant friendship and now she is my wife so that was the first time oh. i met my best friend yeah she's my best friend. <laughs> okay when was the first time you heard your favorite song ah oh, my favorite song what is my favorite song? I have many favorite songs. But maybe one of my favorite songs is from with, uh, let's keep romantic. Um, Te amo de Franco de Vita. When was the first time I heard, I heard it? I don't remember the first time, but maybe in a cafeteria we used to go to a cafeteria at the Teatro Nacional it was called Cafe Teatro and I heard that song there with my girlfriend now my wife Okay, that's my story and that's how I respond to these questions, okay? So what I want you to do is to use these questions to talk, all right, in your groups. But talking in the past, when was the first time you fell in love? I want you to use complete sentences. Not only uh, in 1998 or in 2002, no, use sentences, speak with phrases, 
not with separate words. No hablen con palabras separadas. Usen frases. When was the first time you fell in love with someone? Okay, the first time I fell in love with someone was this, este año, esta vez. Okay. Usemos frases para hablar y mantengamos una conversación usando estas preguntas. Ok. Any question with the activity? No. Vaya pues. Let me send you to the groups and I'm going to share the, the questions in WhatsApp. Vamos a cambiar los grupos para que varíe la cosa. Mm, 20. Ok, que queden un poco más grandecitos los grupos para que puedan conversar. Ok, join your groups y ya les comparto en WhatsApp.
Eh, her name was Lastenia. Lastenia. Eh, Lastenia. Yeah. I don't know what means is her bueno, name. Los papás no la querían, pero tú a ella sí. <laughs> yo quería, pero yo sí. <laughs> pero I, I was, I was uh, 15 years old. Okay, Maria, how are you? Um, I feel involved when I was 60 years old. Um, with my first boyfriend. What? I'm sorry. With my first boyfriend, de mi primer novio. Okay. <laughs> eh, bueno, Javier también ya contestó. ¿verdad? Vamos con la segunda. The first time when I. When was the first time you studied English? I don't remember. I think um, eight grade or seventh grade. I think my cousin have a neighbor. Uh, all the girls likes likes this boy, this this neighbor. I think I rem don't remember really. Okay. Okay. And Mauricio, when was the first time you study English? Did you like it? Uh, this time was I studied English and second day and I I like. Uh -huh. I didn't direct it. Uh-huh. Bueno, yo lo he buscado. This, the first time I fell in love with someone or something when my knees burn. Mm -hmm. okay. Yes. Ok, eso voy a decir yo entonces. Hoy falta mm -hmm. Rodrigo y Catherine. De la primera. Eh, Rodrigo. Hola, 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 hola. hola. And when your answer? Uh, my first time I love in the year 1986. Mm -hmm. I where I was first time. Your first time. Wow. Yes. Was a uh, years old? Do you have? You are. You was. Thirty. 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 Yes. Thirty here. My first. And my and my first case was. Um. Five, fifty, fifty. Five, fifteen. 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 Mm -hmm. Yes, fifteen. Oh. Yes. Ya estaba grande. I was not really. <laughs> I was not really. <laughs> yes. Solo se ríe, parece falso. Ajá. Era, pen era penoso. Ah. 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 Hoy ya no, hoy ya no dice. Hoy ya no dice. <laughs> oh. Los tiempos cambian. 
<risa> Teacher, ¿cómo se dice yo era penoso? No sé. And give me a mom, okay. I was shy. I was shy. Yeah. Shy. Timid, teacher. Yeah, timid. Mm -hmm. no, no hemos pasado de la primera porque Mayra nos tiene ahí una buena explicación. Toda una lista. <laughs> sí. Ah. De ah, corazones rotos. No, ahí era María la de eso. Ya vimos, ya nos contó la oh, Ahí era María. Ahí era Frankie. Si se podemos contestar, por ejemplo, um, eh, ten years ago. Yeah. Okay. Very good. Okay. Thank you. Okay, see you. See you. It was a strolling six year old. Ah, the chair. Yes. Ya que anda por ahí. Como, yo quiero escribir. Bueno, he puesto acá. I bought a watch 12 years. Pero me, me parece que algo así como hago. No sé cómo se pronuncia. Y yo a quiero go. decir hago. Mm hago. -hmm. Hago. Hago. Que me compré un reloj hace 12 años. Mm -hmm. Luego dice, and it was actually six years ago. Ah, ok. Que la me lo compré hace 12 dice. años y me lo robaron hace seis. Ah. <risa> Le duró y solo, y solo costaba uh, 270 dólares. Wow. Uh, chico. Ay, era caro. <risa> y todavía me duele. Qué, qué triste historia. Lo estoy como recordando dice doña. con dolor ahorita. <risa> Estamos removiendo esas heridas. Ay, sí, lo que Ay, provoca esta clase, Padre Santos. I'm sorry. <risa> <risa> okay. Yeah, it's terrible. I'm sorry for that. Lección de vida: no se vuelven a comprar cosas así. <risa> Okay. Thank you, teacher. <coughs> Bless oh, you. God. Okay. Thanks. Vacuna, Thanks. vacuna. <laughs> no, es que lo que pasa, teacher, que me toca que estar en el patio para que me dé buena señal. Entonces, creo que como ha estado norteando. Ay, qué rico. Y aquí un gran calor que está haciendo. Ay, sí. Ah, sí, creo que sí. <laughs> Okay, see you.
Okay, people, welcome back. Um, okay, it's time. Vamos a tomar la última asistencia. La clase personalizada me toca con Mauricio. Ya me fue Mauricio Rivera. I'm here, teacher. Aquí estás todavía. Vaya, tenemos los 10 minutos. Mauricio, qué bueno que, okay. Okay. que llegaste hoy. Les <risa> digo con quiénes seguimos en la semana. Mañana martes, Rodrigo. El miércoles, Dinora. Jueves, Galileo. Viernes, Javier. Ok. The 10 minute session at the end of the class. Tomorrow at the beginning of the class, we are going to review these questions. So we are going to talk a little bit here in class. Bueno, a la hora de la asistencia, le voy a preguntar algo de estas, de estas preguntitas que practicaron al final, ¿verdad? Así es que revísenlas, practiquenlas. Y mañana les pregunto, sobre todo de su first love. Queremos ver cuántos corazones <ríe> rotos dejaron. <ríe> ok. Ana Lilian Reyes. Present, teacher. Ok. Have a good night. See you tomorrow. Good night, teacher. Brian Javier Carmona. Brian. No se te oye, Brian, que tiene que escucharse ese present. Present. Ahí está, ahora sí. Eh, Dinora Alejandra Alfaro. Present, teacher. Ok, thank you for attending. See you tomorrow. Frida Janine Mejía. Present, teacher. Ok, sweet dreams, Frida. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Bye, bye. Eh, Guillermo Antonio García. Still here. ¿Le alcanzó? No, no le alcanzó para terminar. Eh, Javier Aldair Escobar. Present teacher. Ok, Javier. Thank you for coming. See you tomorrow. Bye, bye. Bye. José Arnoldo Mazariego. Arnoldo. No, no se nos está saliendo temprano. Se nos da la fuga. Uh. José Galileo Barrera. Present teacher and good Thank night. Thank you for uh, attending. Thing. Good night. Bye bye. José Jonathan Vigil. Present. Okay, Jonathan. Thank you for attending. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Good night. José Rodrigo Hernández. Have a good night. See you tomorrow. Catherine Marcela Castaneda. Present teacher. Okay, Catherine, thank you for attending. See you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Laura Carolina Vigil. Present teacher. Thank you for coming. Have a good night. Have a good night. Bye bye. Ah, perro, Mauricio. Okay, Maria Concepcion Cerón. Present teacher. Okay, thank you very much for attending. See you tomorrow. Good night, teacher. Good night, Maria Ivania. Present teacher. Hello. Thank you for coming. A little late. <laughs> okay, see you tomorrow. Good tomorrow, teacher. Good night. Good night, Mauricio Antonio Rivera. Mauricio Antonio. I'm here, teacher. Okay. Uh, I did. Wait, okay. Don't go. Mayra Veralice Moreno. Present, teacher. Okay, Mayra. Try to be on time tomorrow, Mayra. Bye. Bye. <laughs> bye bye. Bye. Zaira Marlene Larín. Present teacher. Okay. Good night. Good night. Thank you for coming. 
Wendy Maribel Zabaleta. Present teacher. Have good a good night. night and thank you for coming. Blessing everybody. Thank you. Jacqueline Gloribel. Oh, no le aguanto el inter. Um, Karen Vanessa Moratasha. Present. Okay, thank you for attending. See you tomorrow. See you, good night. And Mauricio Antonio Orellana. Present. Okay, Mauricio, have a good night. Thank you for coming. See you tomorrow, okay? See you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Okay, Mauricio. See, hi, teacher. How can I help you? Hay algo que quisieras que reforcemos. Vamos a ver. Eh, dice que le soy honesto. La semana pasada solo como un día y medio creo que me pude conectar como por el mismo problema que he tenido de la cámara y la computadora. Ajá. Entonces, este, tengo unas tareas pendientes allí. Y quisiera saber en qué terminó la semana pasada, porque si sí, los últimos días no me pude conectar. Más que tuve un accidente ahí en el trabajo que ya mero me saco el ojo y me he pasado Ay, unos mil días ahí algo de terapia. Híjole. Entonces yo quisiera reforzar lo más que se pueda, Tichi. Bueno, vamos. Lo más a que ver. se pueda. Vamos a ver entonces si esta cosa me responde, pero vamos a irnos más arriba. Vaya, vale, revisamos. Vimos este tema, los demonstrative pronouns, ¿verdad? This, that, this, and those. Uh -huh. yeah. Sí, ese, ese creo que lo hice con, con Arnoldo, que fue la última vez que pude entrar a clase. Vaya, perfecto. Este, cuando es plural, creo que se escribe dos. Cuando es singular, creo que es this, ¿verdad? Depende. That ¿verdad? se refiere a eso. Y, di, y this, uh, this. Sí, acordate. Uh, what this veamos, mira este cuadrito, ¿verdad? This ajá, ajá. es para singular, near, es decir, singular, cerca. Casi, mejor dicho, que ajá. lo podés ah, yes. tocar. No, es lo que en español diríamos, este, esta, esto. ¿Verdad? This, this apple, es la manzana. Ok. Cuando tienes algo Near, cerca, cerca, pero son varios, es plural, entonces usamos these. ¿Verdad? La pronunciación this. es un poco la diferencia, pero hay que... Vamos a ver, esto se dice this, these, this, these. This, y this, la clave this. más clara es el plural en el... En la palabra, ¿verdad? En el sustantivo. Apples. Estas, okay. estos, ¿verdad? Esto es el these. ¿No? Cuando estamos hablando de cosas que están lejos, si es uno, singular, usamos that. Esa, ese, aquel, aquella. Ok, that apple. Y si es plural, those apples. ¿Verdad? Esto es... Ok. Eh, los... I understand. Es, estamos claros ahí. Vale. I understand. Sí, I understand. Luego vamos a ver qué más vimos. Ah, vimos may and might. May, que se usa para expresar permission or possibility. No, I may become a doctor. In this example, may is used to express the possibility 
of me becoming a doctor in the future. Yeah, may. I may come later or, or late tomorrow. Puede que venga tarde mañana. Puede ser que venga tarde mañana. ¿Verdad? Eso significa el may. I may go early today. Puede ser o puede que me vaya temprano hoy. Express possibility. ¿Verdad? En ese sentido lo vimos. Pero también hay otra palabra que expresa posibilidad y es might. Pero might, might es usado might. a diferencia de may. La posibilidad es usualmente menor. ¿Ya? Smaller. Sí, la posibilidad es mucho menor. Es, es probable, pero tal vez no tanto. ¿Ya? Entonces, Un 25%. Por ahí, ¿verdad? Es algo ah. que no estás muy seguro. Entonces, might. Esa es la diferencia entre may y might. Los dos expresan posibilidad, solo que may es un poco más probable que might. Ok, la probabilidad es un poco mayor. Esa es la diferencia al usar may y might. Ok. Ok. Y um, vimos que, por ejemplo, cuando se usan estos que se llaman modals, ¿verdad? Los verbos van en su forma básica siempre. I may become a doctor. May I have a glass of water? Have. I may come late tomorrow. Entonces el verbo se usa en su forma básica. Lo mismo con might. ¿Verdad? Ok. Eso vimos. Um, y aquí tenemos algunos ejemplos, ¿verdad? algunos ejercicios. Por ejemplo, there are some dark clouds in the sky. It may rain. No, hay algunas nubes negras en el cielo, oscuras en el cielo. Puede llover. Sí, ese cuadro creo, creo que lo hice con María Concepción, creo. Ah, bueno. Lo voy a buscar porque sí, ah. es, eso creo que sí lo he hecho. De ahí. Si sí, es que viera qué problema me ha dado la cámara, pero sí he estado okay. pendiente de algunas clases. Ok. Solo okay. que de repente igual me, me sacaba de, de, de la plataforma, me intentaba meter y ya no podía acceder. Okay. De ahí vimos el wood y el wood like. Would y would like to. ¿Verdad? También son modals. O sea, que modifican un poco el verbo. Por ejemplo, cuando decimos would. They would go to the doctor in the morning. Ellos irían. Da esa posibilidad, expresa posibilidad. They would go to the doctor in the morning. Pero aquí ya estamos también usando verbo, ¿verdad? Igual en forma básica. They would go. I would ask. No. Por ejemplo, si alguien te dice, mira, me salió mal a esto, este producto, este teléfono. Y tú le dices, ah, yo pediría un, un cambio. I would ask for a change. O yo lo cambiaría. I would change it. ¿Verdad? I would change it. ¿No? Entonces, 
Si, o por ejemplo, si alguien te dice, no, yo me siento enfermo. Y vos le decís, yo iría al doctor. I would go to the doctor. ¿Verdad? Ese would para indicar posibilidad también. Y vimos la forma negativa, las preguntas y las preguntas de información. The would. Por ejemplo, they would go to the doctor in the morning. They wouldn't go to the doctor in the morning. Would they go to the doctor in the morning? Yes, they would. When would they go to the doctor? In the morning. No. Y el would like to que expra, expresar preferences. Expresar preferencias. Me gustaría. I would like to have a replacement of this TV. No, me gustaría tener el, el cambio o un reemplazo de este televisor. Negative form. I wouldn't like to have a replacement on this TV. Pregunta de sí o no. Would you like to have a replacement of this TV? Yes, I would. Information question. What would you like? ¿Qué te gustaría? Y eso lo podemos usar en diferentes formas. Este es el would like to. ¿Verdad? Uh -huh. Y como siempre después de esa frase. El verbo va en su forma básica. I would like to have. They wouldn't like to. Eat. No le, a ellos no les gustaría comer pescado para pescado. el desayuno. Ok. Básicamente eso vimos la semana pasada. Va, entonces voy a tratar de ponerme al día. La cuestión es que, fíjese que voy a mandarle un, 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 este, un correo a, a don Jimmy de inglés Ajá. corporativo. Uh, luciéndole que he conseguido un teléfono ¿va? para que tal vez me, me incluya o no sé si me puede incluir usted pero eh, tengo que sacar el, el número de teléfono para que me agregue al grupo porque ciertas cosas que usted manda al whatsapp ahorita, ahorita no las puedo copiar ah, entonces con las ser. compañeras uh -huh. lo que hice fue, fue tomarle como una captura Ajá. porque no, no, no como no estoy en el grupo todavía verdad Ajá. Entonces, este, sí, eso voy a buscar lo, el número. Ahí lo pueden hacer. Para que me agreguen ahí. Ajá. Porque sí, gracias a Dios, este, ahora conseguimos este teléfono. ¿Y eh, tenés no el mismo número? ¿O has cambiado de número? No, no, no. No, no, no. Lo cambiamos. Ah, ya. Yeah. Eh, no me, lo, no me lo he aprendido bien, pero creo que comienza con 70, 20, creo. Pero sí. no me lo he aprendido bien. Sí, porque Ajá. no son los números que tengo tuyos, creo que son otros. Sí, es un 76. Pero en el correo sí. que se les manda, ahí está el enlace para unirse al grupo de WhatsApp. Ah, ok. Ahí lo voy a buscar, porque como este incluso, ahorita le estoy sacando toda la información para este, ¿cómo se llama? este, eh, Como borrarlo de fábrica, para yo introducir mi dato. Ok. Entonces, este, ahí estoy en el proceso, desde como a las 4 de la tarde estoy pasando un gran puño de fotos que tenía y por cierto el I me dio este teléfono ah, okay. entonces había dejado un gran puño de cosas entonces las tengo que sacar y mandárselas por el correo pero ahí voy bueno excelente entonces, este ajá entonces primero Dios ya no me ya no me pierdo ni una clase ticha vaya Porque qué bueno sí, sinceramente este, este módulo es el que más me ha costado porque Sí, Tuve un, sí. un puño de rato y no me pude conectar. Sí, sí, sí. Pero yo le agradezco de su regreso. paciencia y la, 
yo le agradezco su paciencia y la paciencia de inglés corporativo, porque sí, o sea, me han ayudado porque me habló una licenciada y yo le expliqué el problema que tenía, ¿va? porque yo me conectaba con el teléfono de mi esposa, pero lastimosamente, así la situación como está, desapareció, ¿va? entonces eh, yo me quedé solo con la computadora, pero como que creo que ya leí el sistema que como que está una tecla presionada que me ah, hace que, yeah. me, que no me pueda conectar con la, con, la, con la cámara. Entonces habría que destaparla y de, quizás este, volverla a armar y un gran proceso. Está más complicado. Pero creo que así voy a terminar este módulo. Sí, ahí voy, Tiche, pero aunque sea como la tortuga, pero... Ahí voy. <ríe> ah, está bueno, ahí Mauricio. Bernardo, sí. está ahí nada más. Yo le, yo le agradezco, que... Tichi. Estamos aquí a la orden. No, hombre, yo le agradezco. No hay problema. Gracias, Dios me lo bendiga, Tichi. Bernard. Feliz noche. Bendiciones, Mauricio. Cuídate, Bernardo. Y ponete al día ahí Gracias, con los tichi. ejercicios Igual. de la plataforma. Ok. ¿Verdad? Sí, ok. Gracias, Tichi. Pasa buenas Gracias. noches. Feliz noche. Gracias. Igual. Gracias.